Hey, Vic, a little bit about your run defense. Um, looked like, you know, gave up probably too many yards, obviously, especially in the second half. What are some of the issues there on that uh, defending the run? Yeah, on the uh, long run they had for the touchdown, uh, we didn't quite fit it right and um, got the guy in the open field, and we missed a tackle there, which is tough when you're in the open field. So that was one there. And then their first scoring drive, which I think that one was the final one, we had a couple there that uh, we could have played better. I could have been in a better call, et cetera. Vic, what, do, what do you think of uh, Quinn Yon? His, his Can we give these guys a number or something? <laughs> uh, his first, obviously, action. Say that I, again? Uh, Quinn Yon uh, yeah. playing outside, especially because um, Isaiah's hand injury. How do you think he handled it? Good. I thought he played good. You know, they caught some balls on him in front of him. Uh, made a great play on the deep ball they threw early in the game on him. I thought he played well. What was the decision that affect, affect the way that you called the game? Well, it's always hard to uh, factor that in totally. It obviously had an effect on the game for both teams. Um, I didn't let it really change the way we called it. What was the decision to have uh, Maddox over Mitchell in the slot? Well, because with uh, Isaiah out, you know, our next, you know, best combination, you know, because they have the good outside receivers, you know, through deep to Watson a good bit. We, we want a Quinion out there. When you, got Bonin, when you got Bon in here, what did you see in him that make you think he could play uh, inside backer? And, and how do you think he did? Well, first off, he did good. Um, I just, when I watched his uh, play at New Orleans, like I think I said to you guys before, the way they adjusted their defense in New Orleans, on occasion he would end up as an inside linebacker, not very often. And from those few plays, I thought he could do it. You know, was I going to bet my life savings on it? No, but I had a good feeling that he could do it. And, and he can. And he's got the versatility to, from his experience of being an on-the-line guy, <laughs> to use that with him also. And I think he'll just keep getting better and better. How do you feel like his versatility helps you, um, I guess, disguise what you're trying to do and maybe confuse the offense a little bit as well? Yeah, it can have that effect, definitely. And um, the more versatile guys you have, the better off you are. How close is uh, Cooper to Gene to being able to handle, he got a few snaps, but being able to handle uh, a bigger workload after missing so much time? Yeah, we just got to keep practicing him a bunch. Um, get him comfortable. Um, he basically missed all of training camp except the Minnesota week. And, you know, so he's behind, but we're trying to catch him up. Did there come a time when your, your best combination is him in, in slot and uh, when you're outside? Possibly. What was your assessment of the pass rush? Uh, we didn't pass rush good enough overall in the game. Um, you know, the did the field have something to do with that? Yeah, it obviously did. But, um, yeah, overall, we can get better there. Do you think Kobe Dean did enough to start again? Should Devin White not be ready? Or will he start even if Devin White is ready? No, Kobe's the starter. With, with Bryce, right, I think his usage would suggest that you, you don't think he's there yet with uh, the run stuff and the, the run playing ability. You talked about that at the beginning of the camp. What, where do you think he is in that process? He's improving. You know, obviously, um, we all had a player, too. I had a call or two that could have been better. But he's improving in that area. With what Brandon's, Brandon's ability to stop the run, uh, you mentioned he's not going to be on a, a, a pitch count. Is that sort of philosophy of him? I think he got a few more first down reps than, than Bryce. Is that sort of the philosophy? Yeah, Brandon's still a good player. And, and I've told him several times, He's not on any ceremonial last year retirement uh, parade. He's going to play, and he's still playing good. The, uh, the, Packers, the Packers had a lot of yards rushing before contact. What did you make of that from defensive front? Yeah, sometimes I wasn't in a good enough call. Sometimes um, we didn't fit it early enough correctly, and particularly the – Long run there, the touchdown run. Vic, you're looking at the Falcons film. Is Kirk Cousins healthy in your mind, and are you expecting a package involving Penix? 
No, I'm expecting to see Cousins, and I do believe he's healthy enough. He, if he wasn't, they would probably wouldn't play him. Vic, when is this the, 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 the Kobe the starter now? I'm curious, where does Devin White fit in, and have you talked with him about you know, maybe Nicobe being the starter now, considering he took so many first-team reps in training camp? Yeah, obviously we've talked to him about it, and he's still a good player. He tweaked his ankle last week. Um, he's still part of it and will be part of it. So Is what went into that decision, Vic, to, to have Nicobe as the starter? What did, what did you see? I just think from the start of camp to the end, he, he won the job. What, what did you see from uh, Bryce Hoff? It seemed like he only played like 45% of the snaps. Um, was he? You know, I think on most of our guys, if you look at it, you know, we've had five guys up and they all played about similar rep counts. Um, and we're just rolling those guys. Is that, the is, way that you envision, is that the way you envision that rotation going throughout the season or is that more attributed to the, the beginning of the year? Not sure. It's it's both. Could be both. The red zone defense so far. You guys maybe it'll stop the Packers when, especially in a deep red zone. Why has it been so effective, even going back to the preseason? I don't know. It's just uh, something we've always placed a heavy emphasis on, and because um, it's an important part of the game. Um, obviously, it surfaced real early in this past game with the two turnovers deep in our end. And it's a very important part of the game. We emphasize it a lot. We practice it a lot. What does Bryce need to do to play more? You know, just separate himself from the other guys. Vic, with uh, Isaiah being out factoring into how you organize the secondary, where, where is Keely Ringo right now in terms of how you feel about him and those matchups? Because he could be someone. Yeah, yeah. Key, yeah we have confidence in him. Um, We'll see how it shapes out the rest of the year. But, you know, Keeley, Isaiah, if, if they're playing a corner, it won't change the way we call the game. Nick, Nick, said, Nick said tackling was a problem. It's something you need to work on. How, how do you go about doing that this week? What do you do? Is there something you think extra needs to be done? Yeah, we just need to improve on our approaches and not be so wild. Um, some of the missed tackles were due to the – leaky run defense that let good backs get in the open field or a good wide receiver on that one run. And it's hard to tackle good players in the open field. We, need, we can't let a guy carrying the ball be in that big of an open field. Well, Jalen Carter saw, saw, a lot of double, saw a lot of double teams, as you would imagine. Um, what is your message to him so that he remains patient um, and, and, and still maybe beat some of those doubles? Yeah, it's the same message always when you have a good player that um, the teams are going to pay, pay attention to. There's going to be times where it's not there and you got to be ready. You can't get discouraged. You can't, um, you know, let it affect your play, your mindset, because you never know when you're going to have your opportunities. And you just have to keep grinding. What kind of insight we'll do you give the offensive staff on, on Justin Simmons this week? What's that? You give, give the offensive staff any insight on Justin Simmons this week, what to look for from him? No, they haven't asked me anything yet. As, um, as far as the uh, red zone defense, that I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that's what Matt LaFleur said was the key to the game. What stood out to you about the way you guys played? We played good down there. You know, we played uh, tough. You know, you have to be able to play the run down there. I know our run defense wasn't up to par. Other places in the field down there it was. Um... It was a big part of that game, you know. After everything that happened, after three series, you know, we were up 7-6 instead of down 14 nothing or 10 nothing. So it was huge. It really was. Reed made a, a big interception. Zach looked like he got underneath pretty well. As, um, but Reed in general, what, what does he mean to this defense? He seems to have been very consistent. This is your first year with him. He's a smart player. Um, he plays with a calmness that uh, is important from the, in a safety position. You need a guy that's able to quarterback the secondary, and many times that involves the linebackers too, and he does a good job of that. I just think he's a confident, smart, instinctive player, and that's you need guys like that. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, All right. Thank you.